welcome folks to this episode of The Beer Show. Like always, I'm your host Frédéric Bouchard and today I am drinking the Taverneuse from La Microbrasserie La Captive. And uh, as you can see, it's so beautiful outside, so I couldn't stay inside. I went, took my camera, went to the park. I had thought of a nicer spot to uh, film this episode, but it was already taken, so I kind of improvised. And it's not that bad of a setup, it's nice. I'm not sure on the noise, because there's a lot of background noise, but hey, it's life, it's a test, and we'll see if I can uh, do those outside uh, episodes. So uh, it is a uh, pale ale, and this uh, brewery is located in Amqui, which is a little farther than Rimouski, if you remember the trip I went to over there. I didn't buy that beer over here, it's a brand new product on the market, and I bought it at uh, Le Bierologue um, on uh, uh, Ontario, if I'm not mistaken. So, like I just said, a, a pale ale served in a 341 milliliter bottle. The uh, alcohol contest is 5.5%. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the stats I have to say about that beer. And let's go for that nice little taste now. Mm. Oop, little spill here. You didn't see that, don't worry. So I just uh, want you guys to properly see the label. I'm gonna make a rotate here. It's kind of a funny label. And I'll come back on the story with that beer because uh, it's kind of a little weird, just the overall how it's named, the cause it's uh, going, where it was brewed and everything. So, uh, La Taverneuse. So as you can see, sort of a medium, dark, yellow uh, color to it. You have a nice little head there, uh, but there's no carbonation going on, so it's probably gonna fade out pretty quickly. Let's go for that smell. Oh, you get sweetness right away in there. Definitely, it has a nice sugary taste. That smell, sorry. The taste, I'll get to it. Kind of smell like something flowery in there. My nose just opened up. I'm having really bad case of allergy this season and I kind of, you know, blew my nuff a lot so I can actually smell and taste the beer a little bit because when you're congested, you can't taste anything. So yeah, a little floral uh, smell in there. Tiny little bit of hops. Uh, but definitely the main attraction is sweetness. You get a lot of, a lot of it in there. Let's go for that taste. Kind of weird. None of the taste I had is the same. So I'm gonna go for a third one. Maybe it'll give me something. So at the start, I got really big, uh, sweet taste into it. So kind of remembers, remember, kind of remembers me. Sorry of the the smell that I had. But then, I get an overpowering taste of bitterness. So, it's kind of not properly balanced. You don't get hoppiness, you just get bitterness. It's kind of a little too much over, overpowering. And then in the aftertaste, you get a lager aftertaste. Sort of uh, reminds me in the first beer I used to drink when I was younger, so carlings and stuff like that. You know, to kind of have sort of a cheap aftertaste, uh, this is just me. I'm not saying this beer is cheap or Carling is cheap. Well, yeah, I should say that. But uh, just the aftertaste that you have uh, of it in your mouth kind of remembers me of that. But it's kind of a good souvenir, so I can't really argue with that. It's not a 
well-balanced beer, I would have to say. I think they should tweak it a little bit more, just a tiny little bit more in order for it to be like up there as a, one of, uh, of our good products we have here in Quebec. Yeah, so the story on this. So, uh, La Microbrasserie La Capitise is actually a brew pub located in Amco. So, uh, and there's not a lot of info. This is five year, uh, five years, five days old on the market, this particular beer. So there's absolutely no official information on that product and there's no uh, say unofficial like rate of beer and like people doing reviews about that product so there's absolutely nothing on that beer so I'm going out of information that I've gathered in the past on that kind of uh... sorry looks like class is over oops I hope there's not gonna be kids roaming around that would be awkward uh, worst case I just I beer they won't necessarily know this is a, this is beer uh, and um, just from common sense, you know. So, uh, brew pubs need to have a special kind of license in order to sell product on the spot, and it's hard to get. So, in order for them to brew this beer and get it out to be sold in beer selling places, they had to go at Multibras which is located in Tinkwit. If you remember, I did a review on one of their products. So, they kind of... Uh, rented the space uh, at multi-browse so they could brew the product and then then they can sell it legally without any problems in beer selling places but we had another thing on top of that that beer was brewed for a music group uh, a rockabilly folk bluegrass uh, that like rhythm group that is called Les Taverneux and I guess, I mean, probably some of the profit goes to the group, I'm not sure, but uh, it will make sense to me. So there was a lot of, you know, a lot of work behind that beer, which I really like. I like that sort of complicated, uh, uh, how do you say that, uh, uh, business, friend, uh, I'm trying to find the word. Uh, people get together we'll say get together oh, little bugs here and there they like the sugary taste of the beer so uh, yeah so that's the story behind the product but uh, it's kind of interesting you know but like I was saying it's a brand new product on the market so kind of there's no information on it at that point so I'm making it I'm making the information as we're going along you see now Maybe it's because I talked a lot, so I was thirsty, but it was all sweetness in this one. And when it happens, wow, so good. I really like it. Yeah, but you really get that aftertaste of sort of not well balanced hops uh, slash a lot of bitterness in there. That's kind of a turn on, but it's not disgusting at all. Uh, for that reason, uh, 6.5 out of 10, good product, new product, it's interesting. I always like to get my hands on product that is brand new on the market. Kind of makes me feel special for doing a review and getting the information out there first. And uh, I wanted to make a little announcement. I'm going to be you know, putting a little bit more uh, energy on the beer show in the weeks to come. So I'll release more and more. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be doing kind of a blitz. Uh, of the beer show because I've been gathering a lot of episodes which I haven't published yet so some are really old they're good I just haven't had time to put them on and sometimes I was like oh this is my brand new product so I'll bypass it so things have been like collecting and I'm gonna be doing I'd say a two three weeks of you know posting uh, the beer show episode every day or two days or maybe sometimes two a day you never know uh, so I hope that you guys will tune in to watch this and uh, like always well of course please like comment and share my videos and if you subscribe you will get the information first then so thank you for watching and uh, yeah go and get your hands on that nice little beer right here La Taverneuse it was interesting it 
would need a little bit of tweaking but if you buy it you'll be able to uh, you get get more of a, an idea for yourself all right guys take care bye